I am Marcus Blake here at the 2023 Dallas International Film Festival, and we are speaking with director Jeremy Kuhn for his Star Wars film documentary, A Disturbance in the Force. Welcome back, Jeremy. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. And, uh, and if you don't know who this guy is, he's also co-director of another great documentary, Raiders, the story of the greatest band film ever made. Well, thanks. Um, all right. I think it's about time somebody did a documentary about the holiday special. I agree. And what happened? Um, what inspired you to do this? And when did you start working on this project? Started about four years ago. Uh, was my co-director uh, Steve Kozak? Yeah, uh, we we're having a conversation about something else. I didn't know him, but he brought up he wanted to. Do, uh, so his fan, his dad was Bob Hope's producer, so he knew all the people that made the holiday special. And really? he's, I just kept coming back to it. I remember asking him. Uh, I mean, I knew about the holiday special, but I had so many questions, and so did he. We didn't have answers, and I was like, "That's a great start to a doc." So yeah. just kind of pieced it together from there. Absolutely. Now, how many times did you have to watch the holiday special in preparation for this documentary? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I find it hard to sit through. So it's. Uh, I mean, I've seen bits and pieces, but it's watching it beginning to end. I think I've maybe done it four times, four or five times. I actually just. I'm, the film's not, we're still working and finding interviews and doing stuff, but I actually sat through and watched it again just last week right. to see what I could pull out. Well, I mean, it is also on YouTube, too, and yeah. I actually watched it the other night, and I was like, wow, wow. Um, what is the most fascinating thing about the holiday special that you discovered in doing this documentary? Well, the thing that got us into is, like, the context of the holiday special and like how it happened is just fascinating to explore that world in the 70s. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to blow too many. I mean, sure. I mean, there's some backstory where like you find out that like who Han Solo might have been married to, right? Uh, things like that. I mean, there's a lot of things out there, but it's just. I mean, it's been 45 years, and its lasting power has only gotten stronger and stronger as time right. has gone by. And like that's very few for any piece of media. Yeah. Well, considering the holiday special is like that one relative you don't want to admit exists, but you sort of have to. It's there. Yeah. And as we were, we were doing Star Wars trivia last night, and one of our questions was, when does Boba Fett make his first appearance in the Star Wars universe? And it is the holiday special. No. And it totally counts. No, it totally counts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's like, I mean, it's the first time he's introduced. It was, like, if you look at the first time Bob Boba Fett was like a figurine available, yeah. it says premiering in this holiday special. So, I mean, it's definitely the origination of him. Okay. Um, you explore the world of 70s variety shows and all that, and I know one of the most famous things is when Donnie and Marie had their thing going on and decided yeah. to, and somehow got Chris Christopherson to do a whole thing. Um, and you know, did you go back and kind of watch that and explore how that all came about as well? Yeah, Donnie Osmond's in the movie. Yeah. So like he, uh, I find the Donnie Marie thinks it's so short actually more fascinating because it's way worse than anything that's in the holiday right. special. <laughs> I mean, just everything about it is just. It's terrible. It's way more terrible in a short period of time, so it's easier to stomach. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that like Donny Osmond has a sense of humor about it. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's exactly what was on TV at that time. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to capture the magic of Star Wars. Yeah. Um, all right. So, who was the most fascinating interview for this documentary? We don't want to give any spoiler, but I mean, but I know you interviewed a lot of fascinating people. or fun. I mean, uh, Seth Green and like Kevin Smith were the most fun. Cause I'm fan of right. theirs. I mean, Kevin Smith was just like, I remember I was when we started, he was just like, man, had you not asked me to be in this and I saw this, I'd be totally mad I was not in it. <laughs> but like, I mean, he's just That's one of those people, he's just one of those people you just like, what do you want to talk about? Get out of his way. And yeah. he was great. Right. So he was probably one of the most fun. All right. Now, uh, we, uh, you actually get two nerdy questions. Uh, one of them is our famous nerdy question, but I am curious, since it is May the 4th, what do you consider the best Star Wars film? A film? Yes. Well, it's, I mean, Empire Strikes Back. Anyone who doesn't say that's wrong. I mean, okay, it's not, we I mean, no offense to, like... <laughs> no, no, we were hoping you would say that, because uh, some of these people are like, not Empire, I'm like, clearly you haven't watched Star Wars. No, I just watched, I mean, I took my six-year-old to see Jedi in the theater last uh, Friday. Nice. So we watched, we had to get Empire, he had seen Star Wars, we had to get Empire out of the way before he saw it. 
and I was just like, man, this is a, such a good movie. <laughs> now, are you uh, teaching him the right way that you start with episode four and five? So he hasn't, he doesn't even know the other ones exist. So okay, it right. at least as of yet, good parenting. Yeah. All right, so here's our famous nerdy question, and uh, we didn't ask you this uh, the last time you guys were here. Uh, we've updated things. So here you go. If you could have a superpower to fight the forces of evil, what would you choose? I have to fight evil or can I just have it? I fight evil or just have a superpower? This movie uh, Oh, I don't. My, my would be to teleport anywhere I want to go. Nice. Basically, it'd be zero travel time. <laughs> it's either that or invisibility, but I think teleporting would be like. That is a very director's answer, especially for a documentarian. <laughs> yeah. Well, just think of how much your time is wasted. I mean, I'm not. I guess I wouldn't necessarily fight crime with it, but like, um, if you could go anywhere and not have to deal, you'd never be late, but, uh, or at least you wouldn't have an excuse if you were late. So. Right. <laughs> see, someone's going to see this now, and they'll be like, we should make a sequel with uh, about Jumper with Hayden Christensen. It's a, it's a, that's a deep you. cut. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Well, all right. Uh, great documentary. Very fascinating. And yeah, we have to admit, the holiday special does exist. It's crap, but it's a lot of fun, too. Exactly. It's interesting crap, so yeah. check it out.